Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Obsidian. In this video, we will learn how you can create a dashboard that looks something like this. This is a currently this is my dashboard in Obsidian where I have my projects, reading list, life progress bar, and here is a data view query that shows all of the recent files, navigation stats of the file, and it lists all the nodes that needs to be processed. By the end of this video, you will learn how you can create a similar setup in your Obsidian world. We will come back to this setup at the end of this video. But for now, let's go to a new vault and let me show you how you can create a similar setup from scratch. Here we are into a new vault and let us create a new node called as dashboard. Dashboard over here. And let us install the community plugin called as banner, which will add an image on the top of the file. So let me search banner over here. Click on install and enable this from here. You can go to options and you can see these are different options. I would like the banner style to be gradient. That's all I would like to change here. For banners, we can either use the image file that are present inside our own vault or we can just link to files in the internet. So let me just write the front matter over here. Banner and let us add a banner. I will go to Discord and source for an image from Midjourney. Midjourney is an AI tool that creates images based on prompts. You can see here, I'll just select one good image. I don't even need a good image, I'll just need one image. So let's add this image. I'll just open it in browser here and I'll copy the link from here. And you can see here, we have added the banner. Now we need to add a custom CSS in our vault called as Dashboard Plus Plus, which was created by TFT Hacker. And I will provide the link in the description. I'll just copy the file from my own vault. So I'll just switch to my vault, go to settings, appearance and open a snippets folder. And I'll just copy the dashboard CSS from here and paste it into the snippets folder into my into the new test vault. You can just go to settings, go to appearance and you can just click on this open snippets folder and it will directly open the snippet folder for your vault. I'll just paste it here. If you click on reload, you will see that the dashboard CSS is available here. Now I just need to click on enable. Now the dashboard CSS is enabled. Now we just need to add CSS class and write dashboard over here. This will enable the CSS class for this node. Let me create some random node, like I create a reading list. Here I have finished creating a simple organization for uh, the dashboard, reading list, a journal, and recent files, just a, a simple organization structure. Now first we'll need to disable the reading readable line length. For that, you'll just need to go to settings, go to editor and just turn off this readable line length and it will enable the node to be displayed in old display region. Now, if I go to preview mode, you can see that the nodes are organized in these multiple columns format. Obsidian does not support multiple columns on its own, but we use the custom CSS dashboard by TFT Hacker and enable this option to organize our nodes in multiple columns. Right now, we have three columns. We can also change the format of the columns as well. You might want to change the number of columns based on your display size, how big your display is on your computer. Let me show you how you can change that. Go to appearance and go to the snippet folder and open the snippets CSS. So here is the dashboard CSS. I'm using the sublime text editor right now. Now if I go to the bottom, you will see this code here, dashboard where you will see this minimum width is 390 pixels. You can change that minimum width number in order to make it personalized for your display screen. I have set it as 390 on my computer screen, which creates three columns like structure in my display, which is I guess 1920 into 1080 screen. So if I just write over here 400, it will not, let me just write 400 over here. Oh, sorry, 400. Now if I click on save, it is still saved here. But now let's, let me write just 500 pixels over here. And you can see there are only two columns right now. now let me make a space for another column as well. Let's say the stats number of files. Now you can see we only have two columns because we have set the minimum width as 500 pixels. So there would not be a space for 1500 pixels on this screen. That's why it is only displaying two columns. Let me go back to the code and just change it to 300. And now you can see the node is organized into four columns. Just like that, you can change the number of columns that you want your nodes to be organized in. Now, let me just close this. I'll just set it as 390 or 400 also. It just works perfect. 400 pixel and I'll save it. Okay. Now, let me tell you how this dashboard CSS works. It works based on bulleted list. 
whenever you create a bullet list it will be of one column let me just write column one and this will be another column you can see here column one column two and let me just use the line break over here to separate this section and let me write column three again right now if you want to insert anything inside this column you will need to indent that and you will see list one list two just like this you can add this and all of these indented lists will be inside this column and you can just fold and unfold this section so this is a simple example on how you can organize your notes or how you can create a dashboard that looks something like this now let me show you how i have created this dashboard and what's added in my dashboard first is the project section where i have added relevant links and second is the reading list where i have added the books that i'm currently reading and books that i want to read it and here is the live progress bar which is created by using data view javascript now you can see the code here i've also created a video on this previously you can watch that if you want to that will be in my channel and here is the recent files you can see the query here and here is the navigation column where i have added relevant links as well and here is the stats column where i have added stats for my world this is not added as a column actually it's just a simple data view query using car css i have also added car css over here and the theme that i'm using currently is the theme called anup cooking it is a very beautiful theme and the banner is added from same mid journey so this is all about the dashboard that i'm currently using i will share this dashboard note as well as the dashboard plus plus CSS by TFT Agar on my Patreon post so that you can go there and download it from there. I'll provide the link in the description. One tip to improve the look of your notes or improve the aesthetic of your notes is to add headings in these bullets. As you can see, I have added the level 3 heading over all of these bullet lists. You can see this is the level 2. I'll just change it to level 3. And I think this is also level 2. I'll change that to level 3. And you can see this looks better when you add the bullet as a heading right also another tip is to use emojis in your bullets because they give you a better look for that you can just install the comp plugin called as emoji toolbar you can go to browse search for emoji and here's the plugin emoji toolbar you can insert you can add a hotkey and use that hotkey in order to easily insert emojis in your notes in obsidian one more tip to improve your obsidian experience with dashboard is to use this dashboard as a home page whenever you open your obsidian for first time you will see this page open for that you'll just need to install another company plugin called as home page you'll just need to go to company plugins search for home page and this is the plugin it currently has over 74,000 downloads install it enable it and go to options and you can select the note that you want to choose as home page i will just select dashboard over here and here is another option that you might want to choose opening method you can either choose to replace all your open notes in obsidian and replace it with the home page uh, you can choose to replace the last note or you can keep all open notes along with the home page so i choose that option you can also choose the manual opening method another option that you can change is the home page view i have set it as reading view you can also change it to default view or editing view editing view might not be very good because we are using this as a home page we are not editing it on it so i prefer reading view and you can also see this option to refresh data view you can enable this option if you are using a lot of data view queries in your obsidian and you want them to refresh every time you open your node so this is all about creating a beautiful looking dashboard or home page inside your obsidian world i hope you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because i'll be coming with more obsidian related content in the future thank you for watching have a great time enjoy bye bye